Hey everyone, I'm coming to you from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. We're gonna be taking a look at the stores here in Pennsylvania, like uh, Aldi, as well as Walmart. We're gonna show you the store shelves as they look. You guys let me know down in the comments down below uh, whether you're seeing the same things in your areas, or are you seeing the same shortages? I'm also gonna be walking you through some of the, uh, just I get a lot of reports from you guys all week long. I'm gonna let you know uh, what areas I've been seeing you guys talking about and whether or not where I'm, I'm seeing the same things here in Pittsburgh. All right, friends, without further ado, let's jump right into the pictures. Start here at Aldi. The, uh, the salad section was just looking really, really sad. I ended up coming over here to the iceberg lettuce. That's my backup. Usually I can find something that's pretty good. Honestly, the uh, iceberg lettuce wasn't too bad, but it was kind of low in stock. They didn't really have all that much left here. There was nothing below those. Um, but uh, they did have that in stock. They did have uh, the lettuce bags in stock, but it would just look really super sad. And of course, it's, everything's just getting so much more expensive too. Uh, looking over at the vinegar type stuff, um, vinegar was low, uh, but the uh, pickled stuff was on the shelf. A little bit low there, but, uh, but when you look at the vinegar itself, and um, also the... Uh, non-organic apple cider vinegar was kind of missing too. So very little white vinegar, that's uh, their name, that's their uh, Aldi brand, but um, just seeing less than what we normally see with vinegar. Things like tomatoes were just, just not well stocked. And this was uh, right about two o'clock in the afternoon, uh, two, two thirty in the afternoon. Um, so this should have been pretty well stocked, but it just uh, wasn't. Uh, some of the items, different items missing. That was like, what, some of the pitted, uh, um, what is that, pitted uh, prunes. Not that I usually buy those, but just, just seeing the empty spaces there. Even in the chip aisle, there were some, some things missing here and there. Nothing too, too bad. Eggs up to 205 here, but availability, you see a whole nother rack back there. Walmart also did not have problems with eggs uh, they had them on the shelf too. They were about 205 as well. They clearly just watch each other and just set the prices together. But, um, you know, that's a crime, but, uh, but apparently it's okay for grocery stores to do it. Anyway, uh, milk fairly well stocked here. Didn't see too big of an issue over at Walmart either, uh, but we'll see that chocolate milk over at Walmart was not looking so great. Um, hearing a lot of you guys talking about sugar and uh, brown sugar, and there was uh, some of the specialty sugars here, and, and Aldi was uh, not well stocked, but uh, uh, the main main sugar bags, they had a pallet of them, and uh, it seemed to be fairly well stocked there. Uh, surprisingly well stocked for, uh, now they have a lot of these uh, other kind of oils. So they have grapeseed oil, avocado oil, they, they've basically kind of replaced a lot of the olive oil with uh, other kinds of specialty oils uh, that they're hoping people will buy, you know, the glass jars of, of this and that. Um, but uh, they seem to be very well stocked with uh, olive oils and fancy olive oils or fancy oils. The seasonings were a little bit, uh, little bit light there. Um, they used to have the big thing, shakers of steak seasoning, but now they only have these little tiny ones. Uh, that's kind of sad because that was a that was a great buy before the the big shakers of steak seasoning, um, but just overall just like lots of lots of stuff missing at Aldi, um, and this is not typical of Aldi. Uh, they these are tortillas and other Mexican kind of stuff. So basically, all the tortillas. If you want tacos, well, tough tough luck, right? Uh, when it came to pasta sauces, some of the pasta sauces were missing. Um, some of the pasta was a little light too, but uh, nothing, nothing mission critical just yet, but uh, just seeing some cracks here and there. Um, <laughs> look at that. Look at those beans down there, garbanzo beans, white beans, just not many cans left. I mean, you could get other beans and that, that's not a problem. Applesauce, uh, cinnamon and original still having issues with applesauce out there. Now, like I said, you can get another brand probably, Walmart, we're gonna take a look at that, and they, they seem to be fairly well stocked. Aldi was a little low on ramen noodles, of course, I, I use that as my, my panic barometer. 
the more people panic, the more they grab ramen noodles. Uh, so this being a little bit low, um, you know, was a little flag to me, but uh, over at Walmart, we're going to see if their ramen noodle aisle is well stocked. So uh, I don't think we're moving into panic mode just yet. Uh, some of the uh, yogurts a little bit low there. Uh, cream cheeses, uh, they have a big recall on cream cheese for Aldi. So that this is one of the, th the ones that was recalled, the whipped cream cheese. Uh, they also had um, these up here. These would also be recalled if they were within the dates. I actually checked the dates on them, and uh, this is outside the recall date. So uh, these, these were produced before the recall. Um, so th they're good. Um, I was just double checking that because I was aware of it. Um, just to make sure that they didn't have anything on the shelf that was uh, supposed to be recalled. But uh, th those, those are basically what um, have been recalled, this whipped cream cheese and then these, uh, these flavored tubs. Uh, they apparently are made by Schreiber or whatever. And so uh, that, uh, that has a big recall in 29 states. We talked about that the other day. Um, some of the hot dogs missing. Uh, then we have some of the cheese, but then the cheese is on sale. So, I mean, the cheese is on sale for a buck seventy-five, which was a pretty good deal. I grabbed a couple blocks of spicy Monterey Jack or Monterey Jack pepper jack cheese. Uh, that's good stuff right there. Um, before we move on with, uh, to Walmart, let's uh, thank our sponsor, Genesis Gold Group. Uh, they they help people get out of retirement. Uh, in stocks and bonds into retirement accounts in gold, silver, and platinum. Uh, so if you have some questions, there's a phone number right there on the screen. You can just pause it and give them a call. Uh, you can talk to Jonathan and his team, ask them questions. Uh, if you do talk to them and you think you might want to go forward, make sure you mention this channel so they do waive your setup fee uh, because the setup fee can cost hundreds of dollars and uh, they waive that for uh, viewers of this channel only. So uh, go ahead and mention that, um, or uh, there'll be a link at the end of the video for you to uh, fill out a form and then they'll give you a call. Uh, one of the things I noticed at Walmart going in there was that this used to be an ice cream section, and now it's a freezer pop section. They took all this section, uh, these uh, four bays used to be ice cream, and they, they scrunched down the ice cream and replaced it with sugar ice. And this is a big move. Um, they, uh, they definitely moved that ice cream down. We're also seeing some whipped topping uh, shortages there. Uh, just wiped out. So Cool Whip was uh, low. The generic Cool Whip was uh, still on the shelf. So uh, I don't know if there's a Cool Whip kind of thing happening right now. Uh, but uh, let me know if you're seeing issues with Cool Whip where you are. Uh, some of the frozen potatoes, those are the hash browns down the bottom left. Uh, the hash brown patties all gone. That was uh, a little bit concerning, I guess. I don't usually buy them, but uh, um, that that's happening. And then uh, some of the other potatoes uh, were also kind of out on the frozen side of things. Uh, as you can see here, the applesauce is low here, but uh, it's not out. Name brand applesauce is there. Generic applesauce is sparse, very sparse. Um, you can see that there's very little there. A lot of the jars there have labels ripped or, or they're just uh, sub, subpar uh, for those jars, and that might be why they're being passed on. So uh, I didn't get down too close there, but as you can see, generic applesauce is not where it should be, and the name brand stuff looks kind of thin too, like as if it's uh, a lot of it's fronted. Coffee is actually looking very well stocked. So uh, are you guys seeing coffee issues where you are? Because I'm not seeing them here, at least right now. Uh, peanut butter, once again, name brand is all over the place, but the generic uh, is relatively thin. You basically have that creamy peanut butter uh, down at the bottom right there, that red section there. Uh, not much generic. You're either buying the expensive uh, name brand stuff, or you have that one option of those big jars. You don't, you can't get small jars of generic, no crunchy generic, nothing. Uh, mayonnaise and mustard, and there's your salad dressings. We haven't really had many issues with with any of those three recently. Vinegar continues to be a little bit sporadic. 
uh, probably due to the industrial shortage out there of the stuff. Uh, but uh, that's probably going to be more hit or miss. Uh, now this White House, this is new. We've never had this brand before. So um, not sure what to make of it, but it's cheaper than the cleaning vinegar, uh, White House cleaning vinegar. I don't know. Um, they're putting some new brands out there. So I, I don't know if it's possible that um, it used to be, was it Hunt's or, uh, or Heinz? I believe Heinz actually had the, uh, the vinegar there in that spot. So they changed the name brand to something else maybe, or maybe Heinz just decided to rebrand themselves. I don't know. That could be it. Uh, but uh, pinto beans and 20 pound rices uh, are there on the shelf. So uh, you can still get stocked up. Uh, lots of other brands of rice there, just taking up a bunch of, bunch of the shelf space. So uh, lots of different varieties of 20 pounders. So um, that's, that's actually looking pretty good there. Uh, tuna, fairly well stocked. Uh, canned chicken was a little bit lighter though. Um, as you can see, the four packs are pretty, pretty uh, light there. Uh, we'll come back to the meat section there, but uh, um, some of the mashed potatoes looked a little thin here, particularly the boxes. The stovetop stuffing keeps, keeps expanding its reach there. Uh, they just keep expanding stovetop stuffing. I don't know if that's just so much more popular than mashed potatoes right now, or if they're just trying to push people out of mashed potatoes into other things. Uh, canned corn, uh, you know, usually they have it stocked up more, but uh, it's not down terribly. It just needs to be restocked, I guess. But some of these name brand uh, green beans are looking low. So uh, like that, that whole shelf is just empty there. That's like, that's prime real estate. Why doesn't that have stock on it? Uh, apparently somebody's having an issue producing canned green beans. And then uh, we're continuing to have issues with the, uh, the broth. So chicken broth is low and beef broth is out, just gone. No, no beef broth unless you wanna buy the Swanson uh, name brand stuff. Spaghetti sauces, a little bit thin, particularly once again, the uh, generics. Pasta, actually looking pretty good. Um, I don't see anything that jumps out at me that's, uh, that's really bad about that. Um, they have elbows, penne, rotini, bow ties, all the stuff. They, they have the spaghetti and everything. So uh, that looks quite well stocked. I haven't heard too many complaints from you guys about pasta being out of stock. So that's, that's good. Canned soups, however, uh, you guys are mentioning some stuff about canned soups being a little bit low. And uh, we're seeing some varieties here are out of stock. This is interesting. <laughs> this is a textbook example of fronting, um, but you shouldn't, but fronting when you have an exposed sidewall like this doesn't do all that much good. It just kind of makes it very evident what you did. Uh, so they, they try to put a, a front here of, uh, on a corner wall, clearly of something that they did not have enough supply of. They should have picked uh, something that they had enough of on the shelf. Back to the meat section here. Uh, there were some people in the way before, so I had to kind of <laughs> do another lap. Um, but uh, just the, the, the sides, the chili, that kind of thing, a little bit low there, even the manwich. Um, but then when we look at the actual meat section itself, um, fairly well stocked. We've got the chicken, the beef, keystone. I'm looking at the keystone there, um, pretty good. The, the big four packs of canned chicken low down there, but uh, the other varieties of canned chicken seem to be fairly well stocked. Um, also, uh, uh, the Spam is looking pretty good, regular Spam. Flavored Spams continue to be kind of hidden out of the way so that uh, you have to really reach for them. Uh, that just kind of tells me that they, they're still having trouble with some of those uh, varieties of Spam. Spices a little bit low here as well. We had those issues over at Aldi and uh, seeing something fairly similar here in, uh, at Walmart. Uh, some of you guys talking about uh, issues with salt. Um, iodized salt and plain salt here were actually just fine. Uh, 
Uh, so I didn't really take a picture of that, I don't think. Uh, the olive oils, as you can see, definitely lower than what they normally are. Normally, this section is packed out. It's high margin. Um, they make a lot of money off this shelf, and this shelf has a lot of gaps, a lot of problems. It even has Italian dressing there. Uh, <laughs> or someone put something back there. Uh, that This is not how the shelf is supposed to look, friends. Um, and it is concerning that it looks like that. The non-olive oils, the, uh, the, the bad oils for you, canola, veg, uh, soybeans, all that kind of stuff like that, fairly well stocked. Um, all of those seem to be at least two deep. Uh, not necessarily three deep, but uh, you know, well stocked enough. We've seen some other issues there. I, I did get a picture of this, the salt. So as you can see, the, uh, the generic salt looked pretty good. Morton's name brand salt was a little low, but uh, it's not a big deal right there. They probably don't move that much of that anyway. Uh, sugar looked fairly well stocked. You can see that uh, Domino sugar was a little fronted over there. So uh, there is that. Um, we're, we're watching Domino sugar particularly because of the, the Baltimore Harbor issue, but I think uh, the sugar from Domino's gets to uh, Pittsburgh by rail. So um, this is where a pallet of water is supposed to be, or, or a couple pallets of water, and they're just not there. Um, just across the, uh, the spring water and the distilled water, so you can see that's not well stocked at all. So um, that, that really indicates transportation issues more than anything else, because when you're putting water in a plastic jug, there really aren't all that many ingredients, right? So the fact that they, they can't keep these stocked tells you that there's transportation issues going on. No problems with eggs. Like that is fully stocked eggs. Fully stocked eggs, 205, a dozen. So that is what it is. Uh, sour cream looking fairly, fairly well stocked there. Um, a little bit low, but you know, we won't fault them for that. Uh, butter and fake butter looking pretty good. Fake butter is a little bit lower, but um, but again, they can't put water in jugs and they can't put tea in jugs. Uh, they're just, I don't know if that's a, a supply chain issue with, with jugs or if that's an issue with, uh, with the bottling plants or what. Uh, creamer, um, not the worst we've seen it, but uh, then again, why can't they get that fully stocked at any given time? Half and half. Heavy cream, uh, some of these uh, places looking a little thin. Milk, by and large, looked fine. Chocolate milk looked low. Um, chocolate milk and the specialty milks seem to be having issues, um, so be aware of that. So that, there's the milk section for you. <laughs> like, that, that looks well stocked, right? Uh, that doesn't seem to be having any problems. Chicken, um, I'll let you, you see for yourself. Uh, it looks a little low to me. But of course, that usually gets turned over very quickly. That's the pork section. Pork section was better stocked than the chicken section. And the beef section looked uh, the leanest of all of them. Uh, lots of ground beef, but um, the cuts of beef uh, were low. Uh, usually they keep that fairly well stocked. So uh, maybe they stocked it right after me. Now this is over at Sam's Club. Uh, so Domino's sugar does not seem to be too much in shortage here in the Pittsburgh area. Uh, they seem to have these pallets here of sugar. So that lets me kind of feel like uh, Domino's and the regular sugar is uh, doing pretty good overall, at least in this area. Let me know what you guys are seeing with sugar especially. Um, and that's what we have for you today. Uh, let me know, uh, just use the word update in your comments to make sure it gets to the right place. Thanks so much for watching. If you want to check out another video, there's one on the screen. If you want to get some more information from Genesis Gold, that link is also on the screen. Thanks so much for watching. Steve, uh, I'll see you guys later. Steve Poplar, out.